Hello, welcome, wait a second. I'll be with you in a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just getting organized. I'm coming. Be patient, sing a song. I'm just zipping up my bags because it's a bit of a surprise for you. You might not think it, you might think it only happens in England, but today, in Thailand, it is raining. So what better time for a new helmet cam? Because my um, my original connector's broken. So, <laughs> it's raining! Believe it or not, it's raining in Thailand! Woo! A man told me today that uh, it's actually the wet season in Thailand now. Which is news to me, but on today's evidence, I think he was telling the truth. So, well, this is all going to cheer me up, because I was feeling a little bit blue this morning, I don't know why. I think just uh, the feeling of, sort of, I suppose being alone, you know, you're, you're alone for quite, I'm alone for quite a while. And when, that last night I arrived in Chiang Mai, and you're walking around, you don't know anybody, you stay in a hotel, you don't really see anybody, or hostel. And, uh, you know, you, you sort of, at moments like that, you feel a little bit lonely, um, a little bit sad. So. So this morning I felt a little bit down, but today, now, even this afternoon, it's now uh, 10 to 2. Uh, I packed up Dot once again, but they're travelling quite light. I've left Phil the back box uh, down in Bangkok, that's in a, host, in a uh, hotel storage facility. So just me and the cheeky girls uh, for storage. So we're travelling light, we're packed up, we're heading west to Pai. Now this is a place I'd heard about, it's where all the hippies um, from England and from the from the West, came come to in the 70s. When they moved to Thailand, they moved to Pai. Uh, apparently, it's changed a little bit now. Uh, the hippies are gone, or they've got older and they died, and it's become more of a tourist retreat. So now I'm on my way there in the pissing rain. I I don't know if you can see this, but it's fucking raining like cats and dogs. I'm getting wet. I've got my waterproofs on, which just like my safety gear, are, are comprehensive. Uh, in that they extend to a t-shirt, a pair of shorts, and a pair of Converse. I figure that the less clothes I wear, the less there is to dry out at the end of the day. Also the fact that in my naivety of the wet season, I left all my wet, wet gear, wet weather gear, down in Bangkok. So my storage box, Phil, Phil will be very dry now in his storage box. Uh, I, on the other hand, without my uh, wet weather gear, Oh, getting, it's getting very wet, very, very wet. So uh, conditions like this, we generally just slow down a little bit. I mean, uh, it's not the first time it's rained on me. It happened a lot in Australia. Also Indonesia as well, we had quite a lot of, quite a lot of rain. And it, it's not, never normally a drizzle. You never normally get that, those sort of fine bits of rain. You think, oh, this is pleasant, cool me down. It's always pissing it down, monsoon-like. So we get very wet, everything gets very, very, very squelchy. Sun comes out, it all dries off, and then it, rain, it rains again, so you get very wet again. It's just a cycle. On days when it rains, it is just a cycle. And now I'm getting passed by a minibus. And that's the thing, I mean I'm on I'm on cheap shit type tires that cost three quid to have change. So I'm very uh, apprehensive or very cautious of the fact that I don't think they've got much grip. Uh, and also my elbows and knees are little protection so if I was to go down I think I'd end up skinless um, although I have been down in the wet before I'm just remembering coming across Sumatra I was following a, a, a lorry and, and another motorci motorcycle and I was behind the motorcycle riding merrily away and the guy in front he locked up his back brake locked up and his back end went all over the place and slithered and, and he stopped he must have pulled him pants and he was to stop to check his underwear. I rode past chuckling. I was now behind the lorry. Five minutes later this lorry brakes quite hard in front of me. I slammed on the brakes. Front brake a little bit too hard. And uh, I don't know if you've ever rode a push bike or a motorcycle when you put brake on too hard, front brake on too hard in the wet it just goes from under you. It loses all traction. So down I went didn't I? We running a bit wide. Um, just down. Oh, just woo! Just slid and pirouetted. The dot went sliding down the road on a on a uh, crash bars, and I went down after her. But luckily, I got my gloves on and a jumper and a few other bits and pieces, so I was fine. Uh, the only difference today is that I don't have any of that gear on, so I'm not really keen on on uh, falling over. Now I'm absolutely drenched. My testicles are dripping. There's puddles on the road. In a minute, I'm going to change change cam so you can 
you can see a, a, a dot side view of the road that she's, she's encountering. I just need to find somewhere safe to pull over. Uh, before I do that though, I just want to say if you're, anybody's watching who's, who's found my side from there, uh, on Adventure Rider, so I think it's an American website, but anyway, I was, I was put onto it the other day, uh, and I uploaded a stage one report from Australia, just thinking they might want to have a read of it. And so far, I've had so many lovely, lovely, beautiful comments from people who just wished me well and said congratulations, love what I'm doing, uh, you know, keep it up, enjoyed reading it, enjoyed the site. So I just, uh, you know, if, if you're anybody out there that's, that's found my site through that means, then thank you, uh, it means a great deal to me. Uh, to have your support, uh, I hope we, I hope you see it through to the end, just as I, you know, I hope I see it through to the end. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, and to anybody else who's found my site through other means, it means a great deal. So thank you. I, I only wish you were here now to get wet and have your bollocks dripping just like I am, because it really has. It's, it's gone through now. I'm, I'm drenched. Oh, even my arse crack. That's dripping. And it's sort of. It's sort of a warm sensation between your legs once it starts to heat up. It's like a wetsuit, I suppose. Because um, I, I have, I have uh, Beyonce Knowles between my legs, the Afro wig that I sit on, and once that gets wet, that's and Beyonce starts to get moist. That's a hard new ball game. But for now, I'm definitely going to say goodbye. Although I need to find somewhere to pull over and stop the video, because to do it in this weather would be suicide. I think. Why do the video camera would die, wilt and die? Okay, so, so, uh, oh shit, there's no way to pull over. Oh, motherfucker. Sorry, motherfucker. Sorry, mother, fucking motherfucker. Oh, sing a song or something. Wait, wait I'm trying to think of the words to this song. Uh, raindrops keep falling on my head. And I tell the line to be going and dying all the time. I and just keep falling on the head, they keep falling because of you. Nothing's worrying me. Nothing's worrying you and me together forever. Because raindrops keep falling on my head. I got falling in my head. Why not for me? Because raindrops keep falling on my head. They keep falling. Ali da do. Doppy dooby do do. Dooby dooby do do. Alright, alright. for some shelter.